what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my new tutorial video guys if you're new here please let me know you have been already subscribed to my youtube channel lb films today in this video i'm going to show you how to create this cinematic black color inside adobe premiere pro guys this video is sponsored by audio so now let's get jump on it in adobe premiere pro and let's see how the things it is stick around Many people told me how to create this stuff and I'm going to show you how to create this cinematic color grading. As you see here in my Premiere Pro, this is how my clip is. So it is, it is my subject walking through on the street. So, and I'm going to add some color grading on my footage. I have two angles. This is the close-up. This is the close-up angles. Yeah, walking through the camera, the tracking motion. And then this is wide shoot okay so first i'm going to start it by here right okay guys as i told you always i make color grading on adjustment layer okay because i have many clips here on my timeline so first i have to go here on new item and then i create adjustment layer okay and then you press okay you know my video it is in 4k resolution okay and then frame rate it is 60 frame rate per second okay and then you press ok and then you put this adjustment layer here on this timeline so you have to extend how long your clip it is this is my second clip i will come back on this second clip okay there is no problem okay and then you click here on this adjustment layer guys here we are on editing workspace so let me just go here on color workspace guys there is another way which you can use for color grading okay without go here on this color workspace you can go here on this effect okay just go here on these double arrows go on the effect and then you can search the effect called lumetric color and then this lumetric color you can drop it here on this timeline okay after dropping it you go here on effect control this is lumetri color settings as i told you there is some basic correction creative curves color wheels h cell secondary and vintage okay you see it is located here on this effect control okay yeah this is the way you can use for color grading also it works well so let me go here on this color workspace as i told you i will come back here on this color grading which is here okay so let me just you see my workspace for color grading i don't know how it is first i have to reset it well as possible so you have to go here on window click here on workspace and then click here save layout you see it becomes as default that's great okay so now you click on this adjustment layer let me try to extend this monitor okay this is nice for this adjustment layer one I'm going to you see guys my clip it is in s log okay i use for this clip i use lumix s5 with 20 to 60 lens okay first i'm going to balance this lighting okay so guys for this white balance you have to use this icon this icon you have to use it when you see your video some in your footage that is some um, too bright so for example if your video is too bright you can use this icon and then you press where the bright is you see guys automatically this temperature and tint it will be set it it well as possible okay you see i got like two three point two yeah this is nice okay and then this is cool so let me go here on this exposure contrast highlight shadow white and the black guys in my video there is no color which is very exposed so let me increase this contrast here guys as you see here on my rheumatric scope let me tell you these things okay if your video it is too bright okay when the image it is too bright it will be over here to 100 for example when i want if my video is too bright like this okay you see guys these lumetric scopes tells you all shows you how the video it is too it is too bright okay so you have to put it as default you see my my video 
it is cool okay when it is too dark it will be affected here on zero for example when the video it is down exposure do you see these lumetric scopes so shows you how the video it is too dark so you have to put it as default this is nice okay so now let me increase this exposure yeah this and then let me increase just a little bit <clears throat> let me just increase just a little bit saturation yeah to bring some a lot more realistic yeah this is nice like 100 to 35 this is nice and then for this brack i can increase some and then you have to check here when you try to increase some brack it will not affected on this line okay for two yeah then i can decrease two yes like this okay and then for this exposure i can increase just just a few little bit okay and then you have to check if it will not affect it on this line for 100 when it is affected on this line of 100 it shows you your your footage is too bright okay so you have to reduce just a few little bit this is nice okay guys for this adjustment layer one i have already balanced my light okay so this is before and then this is after guys this footage looks nice so now and i'm going to create another adjustment layer because i'm going to create another lumetric lumetric color guys you can use for one adjustment layer or you can use main adjustment layer for me let me just use more adjustment layer okay this is my second adjustment layer for this adjustment layer and i'm going to color grade my clip okay so now this basic correction i have already done using let me go here on this curve guys for this curve you see let me try to increase attack just a few little bit yeah this one too something like this okay and you see guys i have this green color here and the yellow and the blue okay so the things i have to do this is hover sat okay i have to select to select other colors except these red and yellow other one i have to move it down just like this have to move it down like this guys as you see i'm remaining like skin tone only even this yellow let me just move up just a few little bit yeah this is nice and then yeah this is let me come back here on this first layer of adjustment layer i can increase i can decrease some just exposure like this okay this is nice you have to check guys as i told you okay so let me come back here for this second adjustment layer let me go on curves okay and then for this hover sat i have already done to make this hover sat if you want to disable this yellow you can just take just a few little bit here and then you disable you disable this yellow you see but for me i don't want to disable this yellow so i have to remain is this yellow and then and this skin tone and this red okay you see other colors i have moved it down so to desaturated okay so and then here too i have to select all colors except this one that i have been told you and then have to move it down and let's see how the result it is you see there is some changes on my colors you see guys how the stuff it is all you can increase so let me move it down and move it down so for example because i want this green only so i can move this green down like this 
yes move down this green like this guys okay because i want the green to be down yes this is before and then this is after if you want you can increase to up to change it for the color and then you move this blue yeah this is good and then for this is for this lumar let me try to take this green too so let me move let me come back here for this hover sat have to move down this green okay yeah this is good so guys when you have already done to to remove the color for this green so now and i'm going to create another adjustment layer so i have to move this adjustment layer here on this timeline again for the third adjustment layer too okay and i have to click on it and then let me come back here on these curves okay so for these curves first i have to click here on this red and let me add this point here so i can add some some green just a few little bit on my color okay on my green yeah something like this so now let me come back here for this white and then i have to add some point yeah something like this point a few little bit Yeah, like this guys this is nice yeah this is before and then this is after okay so let me add another block here guys I have to check it well my image will not affected on my what on this zero so let me try to decrease this highlight and white okay so after this let me go to skin tone i'm going to check well oh i'm going to edit this skin tone okay so they have to click this red okay you open up this color gray so you have to select well this hcla secondary this is nice because i want the skin tone only the skin tone only guys Yeah, so here I can increase the skin tone in this way. And here I can increase some saturation. Even here you can increase some, just a few little bit. Here you can increase some bright. And then for this blindness, you have to increase some blindness a few little bit because I don't want the people to see how we are the hcl secondary is combined with other colors okay so let me mute this and let's see how it is you see how the this color it is and then let me come back here on this basic correction i can increase some just a few little temperature to see how my color it is yeah this is nice This is nice guys yeah okay if you want you can increase just a few little bit to seven yeah this looks good so guys now i can check before this is my first how my color it is and then this is after guys okay this is guys how i create this cinematic color mode 
black mode okay in adobe premiere pro so for me i use three different adjustment layers so also you you can use two same as my steps okay or you can use just one adjustment layer yeah it is possible so for this adjustment layer guys on the third one i have some the i have to add some other details on here on my what on this hcl secondary okay so this one yes i want to to pick these things okay so when you're done you see yeah this is looks nice this is looks nice guys and then i can copy this color grade and then have to duplicate it and then you paste it here sorry guys let me duplicate this is cool and then you bring this one to here maybe guys you see this is it is too bright so when you mute one adjustment layer for this hcl secondary because there is no skin tone here you can check i see it here on this on this footage maybe i can delete this one because it is not necessary because it was especially show the skin tone so for this close up you see this close up you see how the skin tone it is okay and then this one too looks nice so for here i use two adjustment layer only guys this is how you can create this color mode in adobe premiere pro if this video is very helpful to you let me know you have been dropped the comment down below subscribe and share this video thanks for watching and see you in next video peace